I'm extremely proud of my food. I take passion and pride. Given the privilege and the opportunity to travel all over the country and experience what they call layers and flavors, and I saw this a lot in California and New York and Texas and Miami. We've taken simple ingredients and we've elevated it to the next level. We've blackened the tuna. We're gonna sear all sides just to kind of get those flavors to blend into the tuna. You've got that nice caramelization. This is one of our house-made vinaigrettes. We uh, take miso paste with a little bit of sesame oil, vinegar, salt, and pepper. We've added fresh baby greens with miso vinaigrette and crispy onions and namasu and, and finishing it off with a Cajun remoulade to where you've kind of got this hodgepodge of all these different flavors and aromas and tastes and textures and we've put it onto the plate and we've put it out in front of our guests and we said, this is what we do, this is how we do it, it's fresh, it tastes great, it looks great and it gives people another reason to eat with us but more frequently. Presentation is everything. This is how we do it at GB. Miso marinated mahi, marinated shiitake mushrooms, kale and quinoa with namasu and lime soy butter. You've added so many different layers of flavor. You've taken just salt and pepper and you've pan seared it to where it's nice and golden brown and brushed it with the miso marinade. But then we've taken it to the next level and we've added kale and quinoa with craisins. My God, who would ever think kale and quinoa would go with a piece of fish? But it does. And then we've added another layer of marinated shiitake mushrooms and that wow presence of the namasu with that lime soy butter. When you take all that together and you look at that plate, the first thing that you see is wow. And then you taste it and you're like, wow. And then you look at it again and you're like, you can't stop eating it because it's got so much flavor. It's nothing like walking into GB with it being hip and chic and you're greeted by the server and you look at this menu and, and you see this very simple dish called the harvest salad. And it's a discovery of going back to the roots of the farmlands and the homelands of blue cheese and craisins and toasted pecans with apples and this creamy vinaigrette and you toss all these items together with grilled chicken and it comes to the table and it's just very simple food that you can't make at home. The foundation of flavor is, is established by using sweet and sour, spicy, salty, and then who can go wrong with blue cheese and mayonnaise? You've got the blue cheese and the bacon that, that, that pairs well with the vinegar and the mayonnaise and the green onions and the garlic, and you put this on top of a blackened, you know, American-style Kobe burger is just wonderful. We're gonna take our grilled onion, place it right on top. And then the last piece of this dish is we're gonna take our knife, we're gonna slam it right down and have a vertical black and blue Kobe burger. Waking up the palate, that's exactly what we're doing. We're waking up the palate.